Hey, Tiger family. It is so great to see you. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the breeze is blowing, and I get to read another story to you from my treehouse. Um, this book is called Abiyoyo, and it's based on a South African lullaby and a folk story. And it's one of my favorites. I used to read it to my students in my classroom. I've read it to my own kids, and now I get to read it to you. Um, I hope you like it. Once upon a time, there was a boy who played a ukulele. Around town he would go, clink, clonk, clonk, clink, clonk. And the grown-ups would say, ah, take that thing out of here. But not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a mag magician and he had a magic wand and he'd go, zoop, zoop and just make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something. Zoop, the glass would disappear. Someone doing a hard job at work, zit, zit, zit. Up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop. No saw. He'd come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work. Zoop. No chair. People said to the father, you get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks. You and your son just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. And that means they made him live on the edge of town. Now in this town, they used to tell stories. The old people used to sit around and tell stories about the giants that lived in those days. They used to tell a story about a giant named Abiyoyo. They said he was as tall as a tree and could eat people up. Of course, nobody believed the story, but they kept telling it anyway. One day, one day the sun rose blood red over the hill. The first people got up and looked out the window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun, and they could feel the whole ground shake. Women screamed, strong men fainted. Run for your lives, Abiyoyo's coming. He comes to the sheep pasture and he grabs up a whole sheep. Yelp. He comes to the cow pasture and he grabs up a whole cow. Yelp. Men yelled, grab your most prized possessions and run, run. Just then the boy and the father woke up. Hey, Pa. What's coming down over the fields? Why, son, that's just Abby yo yo Oh, if only I could get him to lie down, I could make him disappear. The boy says, come with me, Pa. He grabbed his father by one hand. The father gets the magic wand and the boy gets his ukulele and they run across the fields. People yelled, don't go near him, he'll eat you alive. There was Abiyoyo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. 
He had slobbery teeth because he didn't brush them. Stinky feet because he didn't wash them. And matted hair because he didn't comb it. He raised up his claws. And just then, the boy whips out his ukulele. Bobby yo Bobby yo yo Well, you know, the giant had never heard a song about himself before, and a foolish grin spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. Bobby yo yo 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 Bobby yo 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 Bobby yo yo Bobby yo yo Bobby yo yo Bobby yo yo Abi yo 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 yo. The giant got out of breath. He staggered. He fell down flat to the ground. Up steps the father. Zoop. Zoop. People looked out their windows. He's gone. Abi yo yo's disappeared. The people ran across the fields. They lifted the boy and his father up on their shoulders. They said, Come on back to town. Bring that darn old ukulele. We don't care anymore. And then the whole town began to sing. Abby yo yo, yo yo, yo yo, yo 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 yo. That's the story of Abby yo yo. See what music can do. I hope you have a wonderful night tonight, sweet dreams, tigers. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.